with me if you join me. Give me a minute. I'm going to bring it up on my iPad. Check the sound. All that good stuff. I think the sound's okay, so let me mute this. Okay. So if you join, if you can say hi and let me know you're here, I'd really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Um, and if you can tell me where you're from, that's absolutely great. So this is Linda from Blue Door Risa Moore. And today I'm going to work on a quick flip-flop breathe. Um, it's just, you know, one extra little thing. I had someone who mentioned... Um, could I make them? So, hi. Hi, Amber. Thank you for joining. Um, South Dakota. Wow. That's great. Are you still having, like, hot weather out there? Is it, like, really hot and humid? Um, I'm in northern Indiana, and it was a beautiful day today. It's, like, in the, the mid-70s, 70, 76 or so. Nice breeze, sunny, just beautiful. So, anyway, um... I moved my camera back a little bit. I was hoping you could see me in my workspace. And you kind of can. But you can't see all of it. So, anyway. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this. Let me see here. I kind of have it laid out. You can kind of see. 70s. Oh, that's great. I, you know, mid to high 70s is perfect for me. That's just my favorite perfect weather. But, anyway. So I have these, I just have these laid out. Um, I made this one last night. Like I said, I had someone ask me, could I make them? So I made this one last night. Just kind of like put it together. Let me see if you can. There's a delay between my phone and my iPad, so I just kind of, yeah, I think you can see it okay. Um, and I just glued these together. I mean, I struggled. I watched a lot of videos and and um, to see what to do. And there's different forms. And I tried them on the wire frames. I just couldn't get it to work. So I just glued these together. And I don't know how they would work like, you know, like in Florida in really hot weather. Um, but it's crazy glue. And crazy glue is a lot better than hot glue. So I know. I've got all of my fingers. I don't think I have any fingerprints left. All my fingers, except for my pinkies, are totally covered with crazy glue but anyway so I made this one so I thought I'd just make another one real quick so I kind of laid out the pattern and I just this particular one just takes four pair of flip-flops and it's the same I'm gonna do it the same way as that one so I just kind of like laid out the pattern to see how I liked it I'm trying to figure out here how I can get a little bit more of my screen um, and so you can see it. So I wonder if I pull it. Okay. Let's see if I pull it back towards me a little more. If that gives you more on screen. Bear with me. <laughs> it's just now catching up on my iPad, so. Okay. You can see most of it, right? I'm going to try this and see. So anyway, I just have them kind of laid out here. So I'm just going to like take them, take them off to the side. And I start by just gluing the four bottom ones together. Kind of like that. And I use this DAP Rapid Fuse glue. And it's just a crazy glue is all it is. But it's a really good one in it. It sets in 30 seconds and totally, completely bonds in five minutes. I had a heck of a time I, my lid was glued on. I uh, That's why I have glue all over my fingers, because I had to work with just the bottle until I could find a way to get this cap off, which I did. But I just take it, and I'm just going to put some, some glue right here on the heels. And I put quite a bit. I put an ample supply. And then I'm just going to, well, okay. First, I need to glue these two together. I need to glue these two first. Getting ahead of myself again. hate it when I do that. 
So I'm just going to glue these two heel to heel. I'm trying to keep them as straight as I can, but I kind of pinch them together, you know, because um, like I said, it, it sets in 30 seconds. So just kind of pinch them together real quick and hold them a little bit. And it doesn't take long at all for it to set, so. Okay, now I can put this one on here. And just push it up against those two and the points where I had the glue. Like I said, I, I'm just gluing these together. I did use some wire, so I shouldn't say just glue because I did wire them together on the back as well. And I think what I might do is I'll, I'll put some little wooden slats. Probably I'll make a little frame on the back and, and add some wooden slats just for more support um, and just a little more strength and stability. I honestly don't know how well just the glue will hold up. I know, it's like I said, it's late in the season to be doing flip-flops, but like I said, this is for, um, there are, you know, a lot of people go away, go south or west or wherever, you know, snowbirds, I guess you call them, for the winter, and they have winter homes, so. So it's not like, you know, just because it's not summer here anymore that it's not nice weather somewhere, right? It's got to be summer somewhere in the world, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I mean, they're inexpensive to make. They really are. Um, now, I do... I did order... Um, I'll show you here. I, I just want to... I got to make sure I don't glue it to my table. That's what I did last night. I had to keep pulling it up. Um, let me put this lid back on here. I did order a sign... Life is better in flip-flops. Um, because my friend who asked me if I could make her one for her Florida winter home, you know, suggested a sign that said, Life is better in flip-flops. So I ordered one. Um, and this was the pricey part. Um, so, you know, if you use something like that, it's, it's obviously going to drive the price up. Oh, you want to make your daughter? Hi, Becky. Hi. Thanks for joining. Yeah, you got to try making it. And right now, you know, go to Dollar Tree. Dollar General Walmart because they still have flip flops, so get them now, you know. And they're only a dollar a pair, so or 98 cents a pair, whatever, still a dollar. Now, see, I got these four glued together. See, so then what I do is I just kind of I try to pair them up. Let me see. Um, I try to pair them up and I, I, I'm gonna kind of lay them out because I want to make sure they're kind of even. And I can't touch all of these together because then there's no good heel space, so I do have to kind of pull these out a little bit. But I do want to make sure that all four of them have contact points. So I think that's probably pretty good there. And what I do is, is I put my glue down here um, instead of doing the heel to heel like I did down there, I'll put it on on the two bottom ones and then set this one in place and then hold it. Make sure I get it lined up how I want it. You guys know how crazy crazy glue is, right? <laughs> um, you're welcome. Um, Becky, yeah, get them now, you know, while you can before they start, you know, putting all the summer things away and getting all the Halloween and stuff out. So, my town that I'm at in northern Indiana, I keep checking Dollar Tree every day and, and they don't have, they still have their summer stuff. They don't have any fall or Halloween yet, so. I'm waiting. I went in there again today because I asked them, I talked to the manager Oh, last week or maybe the week before and asked when they're going to get Halloween stuff. And he said, not till August. And I said, well, do you realize that us crafters are working on Halloween in July? So, you know, by August, you know, we're done with Halloween. We're moving on to Christmas. So he said, I know, I know. But anyway, so I'm still waiting. But like I said, my store gets things later than all over the country. I'm so envious of all the people all over the country who keep saying, oh, look what my Dollar Tree has. Oh, 
Um, the sign I ordered, oh, man, I knew you were going to ask me that. I ordered it from somewhere I've never ordered from before. Um, oh, dear. I honestly, I don't know. I can't remember her name. I really don't remember what, what the name of the, it, it's, from, it's off of Etsy. Um, I just Googled, you know, life is better flip-flop signs and checked on Etsy and I, I found one and, and I ordered from her. I want to say something VAT or VAT or something. I don't know. So anyway, I got these and what I'm going to do also is I'm going to, the ones that touch and I should have, I could have pushed them in so that they could touch, but I'm going to try to squeeze just a, a little dab of glue down in here. on those that are touching. Okay. All right, now see, those are all glued together pretty good. And like I said, this this rapid fuse glue, it um it sets in 30 seconds and and completely cures in 5 minutes, so So it's still curing, I guess, you know. So what I would do now is just flip this over. Look at this, I got, oh, look at all this glue I got on my table. Like I said last night, I kept, I kept, it kept dripping and I kept gluing it to my table. Okay, I'm going to turn this over. Now, on this one that I did last night, I used this green floral wire and you really can't see it, can you know. I don't think you can really see it, but I, I wired each, each one together and you'll be able to see it on on here but you know what I don't care it's just one extra um, layer of comfort for me you know to make sure that they're gonna hold together and I just cut a piece about I don't know six seven inches and then I just kind of go around around, you know, three or four times around these little things here. And then I go to its neighbor, you know, next door. Do the same thing, wrap it around there. And I do kind of try to tuck the wire under because I don't want any sharp edges. So that's just one more little um, point holding it together. Oh, thank you. Oh, hey, Mary Jane. Thank you for watching. Your first time. Oh, thank you so much. What part of Illinois are you from? I'm in northern Indiana. So then I just go on, you know, to the next one. Do the same thing. Wrap it around about three or four times. And like I said, I struggled, you know, because all of the, the videos, they either just use hot glue and I just don't have any comfort in just hot gluing. Now this one here is kind of close. So I'm going to have to struggle a little bit to get it down in there. But, but it's working. Um, or they have, they use um, different types of frames. And like I said, I, I tried, I tried different sizes of wire frames and the one that I found that probably would have worked okay was a 12 inch wire frame okay. but I just wanted to make something really really affordable you know cost effective and really affordable so I'm, I'm trying it with crazy glue instead of hot glue and like I said, I don't have any frame on it right now, but I think I might go back and just put like some wood slat, you know, make a, maybe a cross, you know, out of wood slats. Actually, what I did is at Walmart, I bought, I bought, um, these oversized paint stirrer sticks. I think you get three in a pack for like $2 or something, you know, and they're 21 inches. And it's, you know, I'd have to cut it, have to trim it, but, but I thought I'd just like maybe make a little cross, you know, and that would just give it a little more strength and stability. 
I need to get that tucked in there, but I'll do that. What sign do I have? I'm not going to put a sign on here. Um, I have this sign that I got. My friend, you know, who asked me if I could make one, you know, she, she wanted a sign. Um, but I just couldn't make it cost effective enough, you know, with the sign and, and um, the style that she liked. So, but I, I okay, let me see. I'm Mary Jane. I'll show you this one. This is the one I made last night. And they're just glued and wired together. Like I said, I don't have, you know, I wired them all together like I'm doing now, and I glued them all with crazy glue. And I'll probably go back, and I'll paint a stick black, you know, and then I'll glue it in across just to give it a little more stability. Yeah, so, yeah, these are really, well, on this one I did, <laughs> keep getting off track. I don't know if you can see here. But I took some of these um, glass beads, you know, like you can get like at Dollar Tree or whatever, you know. And I took some white ones and I glued them on each of the, the little V, you know, the little V part. Just for a little added bling. And then some flowers in the middle. So anyway, back to wiring this. So yeah, I mean, you, you know, if you want to add signs, you definitely can. It just, you know, drives up the cost. And like I said, I'm trying to make something like really, really low cost here. Then, of course, you know, if you're doing a custom one for a customer, you definitely would use a sign if that's what they wanted. So, <laughs> this one keeps wanting to slide around on me. And you can bling these out, you know, any way you want. Putting all kinds of decorations or or what have you on them. You can make them as fancy or as plain as you want, you know. But they're really, this style, like I found, this style is really easy to do. So, I just thought since I bought so many pair of flip-flops, you know, trying to... figure out what style or pattern or, you know, colors or whatever I wanted to to make for my friend. I ended up with a lot of different pairs of flip-flops. So I thought, I'm just going to go ahead and put together some different ones. You really can't see that wire too badly. Or even a bow. Yeah, absolutely. Anything you want. You know, you can just add whatever you want, you know. And if you're making it for yourself or a family member, you know, definitely personalize it, you know, to, to your taste or their taste. Like I said, I have so, uh, so many pairs of flip-flops now. I'm just trying to use them up. Now, see this one I overlapped, and I can't get to that one, so I'm just going to go over here to this next one over. No big deal. I had to do that on that black one, too. I had that same issue. And these particular flip-flops, they're the women's size large. Because that's another thing as I did. I bought a combination of the smalls, you know, um, and the largest. Because I thought if I layered them, I'd put the smaller layer on top. Um, and then the bigger layer on the bottom. So I do have both sides. But all of these are the women's large. It says large size 2, 3. Or maybe it's a child. I don't know. Anyway, it's a, it's a large 2, 3. But yeah. If you want to make something, like I said, get to Dollar Tree or Walmart pretty much just has the plain ones. They're just solid colors for, you know, the 98 cents. But Dollar General and Dollar Tree have um, different colors and different patterns right now. So now's the time to get them. Even if you just want to get them now and stock up, you know, to make them next spring for next summer, you know, definitely stockpile them. Get them now. Okay, I got one more, then I got these all wired together, too. And I picked out a couple different flowers. 
for this one. Just out of my stash, you know. Okay, so they're all wired. They're all glued. So see? I mean, that's really pretty sturdy. Um, I just go back and any point of contact underneath there, I'll just add some more glue to it. You know, the more points of contact it's got that can be glued, the sturdier it's going to be. So I just kind of work my way around and see if I can find any extra places that I might be able to glue. <laughs> so I guess I can do this one here maybe a little bit. So that's pretty much that one. And I did, you know, I got this at, at Dollar Tree this summer, and I haven't used it for anything. I thought, well, you know, you could maybe, if you wanted to make more of a, what would you call it, more like a Hawaiian theme or something maybe, you know. You could do something like that, you know. Um, and I do, I did get this sign at Dollar Tree earlier. Okay, hang on. It's hung up one. Okay. And it's a flip-flop sign, but it doesn't match any of the flip-flops I have. It's green and pink. And I do have pink, but I don't have any green. I've got yellow, blue, pink, and then the black. So, But I do have that one. I mean, you know, you could put a sign on there if you want. Yeah, oh, they would definitely fit between your, your door, storm door and your door, absolutely. Because they're pretty thin. Um, okay. So here's where I need your help. I grabbed I grabbed these big pink lilies. I think they're lilies. Are they lilies? Does it say? Yeah, stargazer lilies. Yeah. And I got these on sale last year, clearance sale at Walmart. I got this big old bush for 25 cents. You know, you can't get a whole lot more cost effective for that because you only could would only need like maybe one. Okay, let me see if I can. And this is what, I already did this, that's why this one's bent. I thought, okay, now would I like that lily? And on this one I put three. So you could put multiples, you know. So you like that one? Give me some hearts or something um, if you like that one. The other one I picked out was just this blue, um, I want to say hydrangea. Hydrangea, right? That's it? Yeah. This blue hydrangea. But, you know, it's not really the right color blue, but it's about the only big blue flower I have. So, okay, Becky, which one's cute? The hydrangea or the stargazer lilies? So I guess maybe, you know, it's just what you like. If you want to pull out the blue or you want to pull out the yellow. So I don't really want to cut this until I know. I don't want to cut any of them until I know because I'll use it, if I use it in another project, I'll probably need a longer stem. So, but I'm kind of liking the lilies myself. Yeah, okay, Becky, thanks, yeah. I kind of like these stargazer lilies. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and I cut it pretty short. Because you really don't need. I want it a little bit because I do stick it in the flip flop. Oh, see, I cut it kind of, kind of short. Can you, can you see that? Then, okay, I'm gonna lay. I'm not gonna glue them in here yet. I'm gonna. I'm thinking I want more than one, so I'm gonna cut a few. Oh my goodness, Mary Jane. Wow, you really scored, didn't you? I never get that lucky. That's a great deal. Okay, so... <laughs> I'm not going to poke these in here. I'm just kind of laying them here for now. So I want to see how many I might want to use. And definitely no more than three. I mean, you know, three is absolutely enough. But I don't know if three is too much. So you guys help me out here. Can you get the general feel? 
feel of this with three. What do you think? Yeah, you sure did. So is three too much? So I got a smaller one and then two larger ones, so I gotta stand up so I can look at it straight on. Hmm. I don't know if that I'm liking three. I don't think one is enough. It might be. I have to poke a hole in here to get it down in there, so I don't want to do that until I know that's where I want it. Yeah, I don't want more than three, definitely, but I don't know if I want three. So, okay. Here's one. Or maybe just the two bigger ones, side by side, maybe. How's that? Can you see that? Oh, I love my glue skillet. Oh, you got one for $2 and it works great. I absolutely love mine. Okay, so. One. <laughs> Trying to get these in here. Two. Or three. What do you think? Use three? Okay. The next question is, should I use any of the leaves that go with them? Should I cut some of the greenery, too? So, should I add some greenery? Hmm. Or just kind of, like, keep it... Keep it pink. <laughs> what do you think about that touch of green? Should I do that? I'm waiting for it to catch up on screen so I can see it too. See what it looks like on screen. Because believe it or not, I'm sitting right here, but I get a better view on screen of what it might really look like. Other than, you know, standing up and... I like the green. I don't know what you think. I'm going to put just another touch of it. But I think I like the green. I don't want to get overwhelmingly green, but... Yeah, I don't know if I want one over here, too, or, or if that's enough. I'm kind of thinking that's enough. What do you think? Is that good? Yep. Okay, so I think I'll go with that. I think I'll go with three flowers and three leaves. So, since I know now that I'm going to use these, I can go ahead and put my glue on and poke them in. But yeah, I just added, you know, this dap glue to the stem. And I just kind of like poke it in where I want it. And this one, there's a hole there, so I'm just going to poke that one down in that hole. Kind of hold it there for a minute. Oh, Becky, one more green? Is that what you think, one more green? Okay, we'll see when I get those, when I get all these three flowers and the three added. We'll see if I need to add one more green. Now these I have to poke down through the flip-flop. So I'm going to... And it used, at least on those black ones, it, it poked very easily, but <laughs> these stems must not be as strong because it's not poking as easy as those black ones did. Or the daisies, you know, on those black flip-flops last night. But there, I got it. I'm a tough girl. <laughs> Use my muscles. Okay. And this one I'm going to try to poke right down here. I 
I got an awl I could have used. I could have poked a hole with an awl. Okay. So I'm going to do the add the leaves and then we'll see. And I'm just going to tuck these in behind the flowers and hope that Hope that it bonds good enough and there. Move my finger again. I'm telling you. I'm really surprised I have any fingerprints left. Put this on here and I try really hard not to let it drip. And I left a little stem on the back so I can hold on to it. <laughs> I put that down below the below the leaf. Oh, you're frozen? Yeah, just get out and go back in. It's on your end, so just yeah, just go out and come back in. You'll be okay. Okay, so there's the three flowers in the, oops, now see, uh, that one didn't poke. I'm going to get my awl out. You call it an awl? Is that what you call it? A-W-L, awl? I'm going to get that out and I'm going to poke a hole. And poke me a hole down here. Try not to poke my pad. Okay. I'm going to... I'll see if I can't get this to go down that hole. If I can find my hole. Yeah, if you're frozen, just, you know, close it out, close it down, then start it back up, and it'll take care of it. At least that's how, what usually works, anyway. Not getting good enough grip anywhere for these these leaves except on my fingers I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do a hole here too and try to get that down in a hole I'm just gonna glue glue the leaf to the flower put a dab of glue there and just Glued the two together. What is a headstone saddle? Um, it's what you put on top of, of a uh, headstone at the cemetery. You know, the flowers that go across the top. That's called a headstone saddle. I actually was going to make one of those today. I have a couple forms. I don't have them handy, but I just swapped out all the flowers at my parents'. Um, Thursday, and I used to put a uh, make my own headstone saddles and put them on there, but but their headstone it comes up to a point it's not you know flat, so I can't ever get a good grip. Okay, so here's so I quit. I just have two big big um, arrangements on each side of the stone. So okay, so here's three flowers and. 
three leaves. I actually, I think that's that's good. I mean, I can I can cut another leaf and see if I want to add a fourth one, but I kind of like the three. But we'll see. See what you guys think. And I can add a fourth one over here to make it symmetrical. So what do you think? I'm not hating it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the forms. I do have, well, oh, I have what's called a rail form. Um, and the rail forms you can use for mailboxes too. And I got it hanging here on, with all my things, but it's buried under a bunch of signs and stuff. Um, if you want me to dig it out, I will and show you. It's called a rail form, and you can take those and bend them over mailboxes too, and they work just absolutely fine. Three? Not that one? I kind of like the three as well. I kind of like odd numbers for some reason, but... Okay, we'll stay with the three. Okay. I got to... Well, I'm going to... I'm just going to go back in here and squirt some glue. Just to give it some more points of contact, you know, where they're touching. I'm going to squirt some more glue. I'm glue crazy. I just don't want it to fall apart. You know what I mean, Jean? My grandkids think I'm crazy every time I say that. This bottle is almost used up, but I got another bottle, so... Yeah. Okay. All right, I shall dig it out. So here's this, and I mean, really, it's really done. Well, I mean, you know, I could put some bling. You know, you could put all, you could put little flowers on each of these. Like I say, you can bling it out. You know, do anything you want. Um, but I'm trying to keep it simple and low cost. So, yeah. So I'll probably stop here. And on this black one, like I said, I just, I just used some. So my scrapbook ribbon is just, you know, the, what's that, a quarter inch maybe? Quarter inch grass green, grass green, yeah, um, ribbon. And I just tied it around these on the back, and I will glue them. I haven't glued them yet because I want to make sure that that's what I want. Because I'm, like I said, I'm thinking about putting um, some sticks back here. And if I do that, I might go ahead and attach it to the actual stick. So, but for now, I just have them tied around these little nubbies <laughs> I don't know what the technical term is I'm calling them nubbies there you go um but yeah but I did put some little um I don't know if you can really see it on there can you say I put some little white um the stones you know the glass stones that you can get like anywhere you know I have those for because I do all kinds of other crafts and scrapbooking stuff so I got a big stash of stuff like that okay so I'm going to dig out that rail form, so bear with me. I'm going to have to take some of my signs and stuff down so that I can get to it, so. This is the bat I got. Isn't it cute? Got to take some stuff down so I can get to it. I'm going to ask you. See this? Does that not look like a witch's broom to you? I found this in my grocery store um, in the barbecue. You know, they have, you know, they have like different things. They have things for barbecue tools and stuff like that. It's a barbecue brush, I guess. But I looked at that hanging there like this and, and I saw a witch's broom. <laughs> and it was on sale. Plus I had a coupon. So, yeah, witch's broom it is. Okay, so I'm almost there, I think. Okay. So let me get some of this stuff back out of the way.
and I got these, you know, at Dollar General. Um, and you can paint over and put any design you want to, so. But I love the mason jar signs. Okay, so here's the rail frame. And it is, ah, let me get my witch's broom out of here. It is 22 inches. And it has the tinsel ties, and it comes with the tinsel ties on it. And I always add more. I always add some to the center, you know. Um, but you can you can use this for a mailbox, and you can bend it down. You know, I'm not going to bend it, of course, but you can shape it, bend it down so that it fits over a mailbox quite easily. I use these for swags, but... Um, yeah, you can j very easily use them for mailbox swags. <laughs> yeah, you just bend it. You just shape it to go over the size of your mailbox. But, yeah, it's called a rail form is what it's called. I got this one from um, Deco Exchange. It only has one, one across the center, really. Huh. Yeah, this one has the two end bars and then four in the center. I'm kind of disappointed the ends are not, see this one corner, the ends didn't weld together. You know what, well I got my glue out and my fingers are already covered in glue, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to put some of my DAP glue on there and I'm going to see if this DAP glue might hold this little corner here. Maybe it will, maybe it won't, but you know what? It's not going to hurt anything. Try it, right? Just put a little dap, dap there, and then I'm going to hold it together pretty tight for, for just a bit. i got to remember... Trying to remember what it is I use to get crazy glue off my my fingers. I mean, it's holding, you know. I mean, it's it's holding. So, like I said, it, it sets in 30 seconds, so it's already set. It's holding, and then it completely cures in five minutes. So, I'm gonna go ahead and set that aside and see. I'm gonna hang it up the other way so it's not hanging on that side, and see if that'll hold that. So. Okay, back to this one. So, you know, I, I'm not going to put a ribbon on it for hanging right now. I'm just going to kind of wait and see what I want to do. But but this is pretty much it. Wasn't that quick and easy? And like I said, you know, I don't know, like in the Florida heat or Arizona. I'm Ari Have you seen Arizona? Oh, my goodness. I have some friends who sent me little screenshots of their their um, thermometers in their car and whatever, you know, it's like 117 degrees. This was like last week, a few days ago, or, you know, whatever, but 117, can you imagine? Oh, my goodness sakes alive. So, yeah, you get an extreme temperatures like that, and I'm not sure just the glue will hold, which is why I also wired them together. And I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to, I'm going to cut, cut some of these, um, paint stirrer sticks. Like I said, I got a pack of three at Walmart for like $2 or something. I'm just going to cut them to size, you know, and make like maybe an X on here and then, you know, attach that and that'll give it a little more stability and then I'll hook them all to that too. I mean, you could do, I think just an X on this bottom row would work. So, but I'll paint it. I'll paint it to color coordinate with, with my flip flops. Oh, you're absolutely welcome, Becky. Like I said, it's, it's kind of off season to be doing <laughs> flip flops, but you know you got snowbirds, and you know they have their winter homes. And like I said, that's what that's what started all this. I've never even attempted flip flops before, but I had a friend, and they have a summer home down in Florida, and she wanted to know if I could make her a flip flop freeze. So, so I did. So um, that's quick and easy, wasn't it? And it's very cost effective. So this has four pairs of flip flops. So that's four dollars. Um, and whatever you want to put to bling it. So you know, you're, that's gonna 
that cost is going to depend on what you use. So, like I said, you know, this whole bush of flowers I got for 25 cents. So, you know, I mean, that's like nothing, you know. A nickel, maybe, for the flowers. Yeah, snow doesn't matter. Who cares about snow? And then, you know, you have the glue. And, you know, I got, you know, it didn't really use that much glue, in all honesty. And then your floral wire. And then if you do want to use something for a frame, you know, but like I said, you know, I got three of these for like $2. So it's less than a dollar. Then you have some paint, you know, because you got to paint it. But I mean, you're talking like, you know, probably 10 bucks maybe at the most, you know, to make this. So it's cute. It's quick. It's cute. It's affordable. But now if you put signs on, then your cost is going to start going up. Because like I said, this that sign, this sign I got here, it cost me, my total cost in this sign is $15. And that, that includes the shipping. So. so this sign, you know, including shipping was $15. So, um, And make your own signs, you know. If you have a Cricut or you're a good, you know, artist to paint or whatever. Oh, she wears flip-flops year-round. <laughs> yeah. But if you do, you know, purchase signs, then your cost can start going up. But, yeah. So, that's it. You know, I got, like I said, I made these two pair, or two pair, these two flip-flop wreaths. And then, I, you know, I'm, I'm going to do some more. I'm going to do with just like maybe five. I'll show you. Hang on here. I'll show you. And on, on that style, I will use the, the sign. Okay. I got to see which ones I have enough of to, to show you. Okay, these I might do. Okay. Let me see here. Okay, I've got these. These are pink and black um, cheetah print. Is it cheetah? Cheetah print, maybe? Is that what you would call this? A cheetah print? And here's some black and white. Black with white polka dots. <laughs> Man, this thing is all twisted. Okay, there we go. So, what I was thinking, not, let me see if I can do this upside down or not, so you can kind of get the general idea. Mm. But, you know, something like that. You can do five. I actually did seven when I laid them out to, to try the pattern. I actually did seven. Um, and then... And then you would, you know, you attach these together. And then, okay, I got to know I'm probably out of camera. And you can make them straight or you can arch them. Like I said, I did seven pair when I tried it, but I just grabbed five. But And, you know, this color with this sign don't go together, but I'm just trying to give you a general idea, right? So you could do that. You know, I kind of like the arch, you know, better than the straight one. But, you know, just do the same thing. Glue them together, wire them together, just like I did. Um, and then I would probably put, you know, paint. Like for these, I would paint a stick black, you know, and then attach it back behind. And that also gives you something to wrap, like a, a thin rope or something, you know, a, a twine or something. Um, and then you would attach your sign. You could attach that then to the stick as well. And can you imagine that? How cute that would be? Do I have this up so you can see it? Okay. But see, you could do that. I mean, it's quick and easy, too. Uh, so this is what? It would take three pairs to do five. So there's $3. And then whatever cost you have in the sign. Or, I mean, if you just had a little, you know, like a little heart or, you know, a little something, you know. So you could do just a little dangly thing down here or something. You know, and that would just be adorable, too. So you don't necessarily have to have a sign. But So, yeah, I'm going to make some of this style as well. Because, like I said, I ended up with a whole bunch of flip-flops because I didn't know what color, um, what size, what color, what, you know, what style. So <laughs> I got, like, two 
big bags of flip-flops. So I'm just going to make up a bunch of these little flip-flop things and be done with it. So, okay. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. So, let me get this back out of the way. But, you know, the flip, and you can spend more. Um, they have patriotic flip-flops. You can easily do, you know, a patriotic one, get the red, white, and blue um, pattern. Um, but they have all kinds, you know, colors, styles. But you'll pay more for those. You won't get them for the 99 cents or a dollar. But, but, hey, you know, it's up to you. Whatever you want to do. But, so, yeah, these are my two. So this is the one that we just made. And... This is the one I made last night, so quick, easy, and very cost-effective if, you know, use supplies out of your stash, um, don't put a sign on it, and it's pretty, pretty, um, pretty cost-effective, so, so that's it. So, again, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. This is Linda from Blue Doris and more. And you guys have a fantastic Saturday evening. And I hope you catch me again on my next live. See you later. Thank you.